gin it up when I stand. <laughs> and then I'm fine. Carolyn, you made me tired. <laughs> All those thingies. Oh. Uh, but anyway, this is great. Look at this crowd. I, you know, haven't been here since three years ago when we had our family reunion in Lorraine and Hearts. But I don't think I remember this kind of crowd at any time <laughs> in these parts. And it's true, this is my home. And this is my subject for tonight's um, speech. And I wanted to say that this installation of a bench in this particular place is ideal. Ideal for a number of reasons. It is in my home parts. Two, it is closely um, associated and entangled in the history of Oberlin. But it is a place where one can understand that there was a relationship between black and white. It wasn't only that the black ex former or escaped slaves made their way out with the help of other slaves. It was that they arrived at a place where outraged white people, white people outraged at slavery, were there to offer them succor and to offer them hope and to provide the escape. So that combination of commitment on the part of Americans is what is significant about Oberlin, Oberlin in particular. Now, there are all sorts of other places where benches can go. I am arrogant enough to think that there might even be a world of benches. There are places in London, there are places in Paris, there are places all over the world that need a little jostle something to remind them of who we and they are. So this is one. I'm grateful to you. I'm grateful to all of those who worked so hard for this and naturally for the Toni Morrison Society's help and also for the president who was right on it from the beginning. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.